now we gotta make sure we're cute. He's cute. Make sure the mirror is not capturing anything ugly in the background because my house is ugly. All right, I think this is what we're gonna have to. We gonna sticks with this. Welcome back, you guys. My name is Asia, like the continent, and today I want to talk to you about sparkling wine price points. Now, I think it's really important to talk about the price points of wines just because if you are hosting a party or any type of event and you think, oh, I want to have alcoholic beverages there, a lot of times people uh, underestimate how much alcohol they need to have. So this is kind of, um, I think this topic was prompted um, based on hearing people talk about how they paid for an event and there was not enough champagne. And I could have told you the event was gonna be ratchet, but that's another thing. We're gonna leave judgmental opinions to my podcast. Anyway, so I talked about in a previous video different price points, and I'm going to break down sparkling wines um, based on those price points. And there is nothing wrong with you shopping in any given price point. Um, do you, but gonna also give some examples and I probably should scoot over so I can insert photos at some point. So maybe I'll put it here because this is like the ugliest space in the frame. Girl, what's going, what are you doing? It's like touching me. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, I love you. Um, the ugly spot is here, not you, but like this. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. So you can have examples um, or possibly look these things up for yourself, especially if you're super new to sparkling wines. Again, if you don't know what sparkling wine is, it is wine that is has been carbonated, it has some fizz to it, um, effervescence, and yeah, so that's what it is. And the bottle, the contents of uh, the bottle it comes in is under pressure, and yeah, that's the difference between sparkling wines and regular wines. All right, so. I have my notes here and I just want to look at them to make sure I stay on track because my mind goes all over the place. Um, but the first price point we're going to talk about is value wines. And um, I'm going to talk about value wines in terms of anything that's under $10. So yes, you can get sparkling wines under $10. People tend to think that, um, when you think about sparkling wines or champagnes, um, it's super expensive. No, you can get a nice sparkling wine inexpensively. These are under $10, and I have uh, the Andre, the Cooks, the Corbels. Going back to events that you may go to, if they're not, can we, can we talk? If they're not particularly high-end, I'm not going to lie, they probably are um, serving Andre in your mimosa. And um, you can tell, if you drink sparkling wines, you can tell, this is not about, oh, I only drink, you know, something that's $100 a bottle, I'm not saying that. But you can definitely tell um, with um, value priced sparkling champagnes. So keep that in mind, okay? But if you drink that, that's okay. But there definitely is a difference at that price point and when you kind of spend a few more extra dollars. So the next uh, category is premium which is between $10 and $20. It's kind of, uh, when you talk about the overall price structure of wine, it gets broken down a little bit further than that, but premium is that next category. So that's when you can get the Chandon. What is that? Is that my neighbor? Girl, my neighbors have an RV. And it's loud. You heard it. You can get a nice bottle of Chandon. I want to say like 18 bucks, 16, 18 bucks. Like at the casual supermarket, you don't have to necessarily go to a wine shop or, or a BevMo or anything like that. Super simple. Um, Mum Napa is another one in that price point. Those are good. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg and you'd be good right there. But if you taste the difference between a Chandon and the ones that I named at the value point, you can tell, you can tell. The next price point is the super to the ultra premium price point. That's between $20 and $50. So that's when you're getting into the Tatouge, the Vouv Clicquot, the Moet Chandon, uh, Perrier Juillet, um, and that, 
Now, I set those names. You can get a brute in any one of those, um, any one of those chateaus at that price point. Just know you may see a tatouage that is, um, why did I go blank? But let's say if it's just not a brute and it's something else going on, it's a little bit more, you know, a little bit more oomph, for lack of a better term, it's probably gonna cost more. So I don't want y'all seeing something in the store and getting mad at me because now you're kind of jumping past $50. But with $50, you can get, you know, you can get any one of those brands to get you going. At the luxury price point, the, that's between $50 to $100, and that is when you get into the Zarine and the Laurent Perrier, and those are really, really, oh. If you want to splurge, if it's out of your price point, like those, like, oh, just trust me, trust me. Then you get into the super luxury, so that's anything uh, more expensive than $100 a bottle. And I want you to know that this can go from $100 a bottle to $1,000 a bottle um, and beyond, okay? This is probably, if you're spending that, you're probably, probably not watching me on the YouTube. I can almost guarantee it. But if you are, hey, what's up? You know, I'll let your girl, because, you know, I like champagne. At that price point, uh, the, the wineries or the chateaus that you are, are talking about are the Dom Perignons, the Krug, uh, the, the Rodrier, the uh, Armand de Rion, um, or Ace of Spades, you know, the Jay-Z stuff. Um, but that is when you're getting into that price point with uh, champagne. And they're really good. Another thing that I think it's, if you care about these things, um, it's worth splurging on, I feel. You just, uh, it's just an experience, it's really great. Um, now, going into how to kind of break down the bottle. So a bottle of, a regular size bottle of wine, whether it being just regular table wine or a sparkling wine, um, you're talking about 750 milliliters. And that, if we're not being drunks, that can give you, that can yield six glasses of champagne. Actually, yeah, for champagne or for sparkling wines and you're serving it in a traditional size flute, um, you're talking about six glasses out of that bottle. So use that as a guide if you are hosting an event. Um, it doesn't have to be an event. Like maybe you're just having a get together. Um, but a few friends, and it could be a few friends. You can literally say, you know, it's gonna be like four or five of us coming, you know, hanging out over the weekend. How many bottles do I need? This person may only drink this. And sometimes people drink more than, you know, what you expect. Maybe you drink more because you're an alcoholic. You need to use that as a, a general guide, give or take. And again, um, that helps you determine your budget because if you're saying you only want to spend $50 on champagne and you're having maybe 10 people come over for a barbecue or like a, I don't know, not a barbecue, like a clam bake maybe? Or maybe just like roasting lobster. That's what I would do. Like come over, I'm having lobster on the grill and then we're just gonna drink. Right? You have 10 people over and you only want to spend 50 bucks because you've been buying lobsters. Well, now you got to look and say, well, that ain't going to work. And maybe hopefully no one actually drinks, like let's have them drink something. I mean, you know what I mean? You have to really be realistic about these things. And so that's why I'm giving you these tips and these price points. So you can kind of know what to do and where to go with it. And that's why when you go to a $25, you know, all you can eat brunch, they're serving you cooks. In your mimosa because they, they the restaurant will lose too much money they ain't they ain't about that life they're about making money anyways i hope that information was really helpful for you if you're not clear on something or you have any questions about wine or anything else i've talked about in the past feel free to hit me up in the comments below and while you're down yonder go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already and um, if you have already subscribed thank you so much i really appreciate it but i also need you to hit that bell because that bell means it'll tell you every time that i post something which is going to start being once a week consistently because that's how much i love talking about wine that i can churn out a video once a week 
go ahead and share this as well. You can DM me on Instagram at asia.alexander if you have any questions or comments. And you can go ahead and follow me there too because that's probably where I spend most of my time as far as social media goes on a daily basis. So yeah, and if you know me in real life, text me because you probably would anyway. I wouldn't need to tell you that. But don't call me. But you would know that if you were my friend in real life. Don't call, text. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.